Hello everyone, my name is John Michael O'Brien and I'm an Inside Application Engineer for Keysight Technologies. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the oscilloscope to save a waveform after every trigger. So it turns out there's actually a broad family of things you can do after every given trigger. Uh, so what we do is we come here to trigger and we go to trigger action. Once we've clicked that, it allows us to either email on a trigger or do a multi-purpose on trigger. Multi-purpose is actually a button on the front panel of the scope that you can set up what it does. But here we can set it up to do it every time that the trigger occurs. So for our purposes, we're going to come over here and go to Setup. We're going to change the multipurpose action to Quick Waveform. What this will do is allow us to save a waveform each time a trigger event occurs. So our first step is to come over here and change the file name. So we're going to call it you know, Triggered Waveform. We're going to set our file type, and we can set this to any of a number of different types. I'd recommend a binary type because they save much, much faster than a, uh, an ASCII type. Um, once we've done that, then we come over here and we can go to Waveform Source, and we can either choose Channel 1, Channel 2, or choose a this all waveforms to separate files, and it will actually create a, a file for each waveform. Depending on the file type you've picked, so for example, if we pick CSV, the thing is, is that CSV allows me to save them all into the same file. Now keep in mind, each trigger will produce its own file, and to select which file that is, we use the suffix. By default, it'll start at 1, the second one will be 2, the third one will be 3, etc., etc., etc. So once we've got everything set up, and I'm going to actually select uh, internal here, and we'll pick something simpler. Uh, set it to separate waveforms for each file, go to all data. So this will save everything, not just what we can see on the screen. I close that. The next thing we need to do is set the maximum number of actions. So this will be the maximum number of waveforms it'll save. It keeps the thing from running off into oblivion, but be aware that means there's a finite maximum. Uh, for this test, I'm going to just do three to keep things real fast and simple. And once everything's set up the way you like it, you click this Perform Multipurpose on Trigger. And basically for three triggers, it goes out, saves the waveform, triggers again, saves the waveform, triggers again. Now be aware that if you choose something like CSV files and have you know, a gigapoint of memory turned on, this is going to take a long time. The time between waveforms can get very long as a result of this. So just be aware that you're going to have to balance how fast you want this to go against the number of points in the file type you want to save. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, with that said, though, definitely feel free to leave any questions in the comments, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.